Today, President Biden went to Congress for more money for the American Rescue Plan, mainly to help combat COVID. Now, cities across Ohio have had a challenge on their hands. How to spend billions of federal dollars allocated to them through the plan. And as 3 News investigator Marissa Sines found out, some cities are hiring consultants to help guide their spending. We found one city spending over a million dollars on consultants and also paying bonuses to city workers while leaving others wondering, where's mine? Imagine being handed a ton of money, but with a use it or lose it mandate. That's the challenge facing many Ohio cities, spending two billion federal dollars through the American Rescue Plan. How hard could that be, right? They're actually hiring consultants, paying people to tell them how to spend money. Across Ohio, from Cleveland down to Dayton, consultants are landing lucrative contracts just to help lawmakers spend down their taxpayer-funded windfall. Case in point, the rubber city. Akron is awash in cash, $145 million in ARPA funds. It's so much money, the city is paying Virginia-based Guidehouse, Inc. up to $1.6 million for, quote, general consulting services related to Akron's ARPA planning effort. But even with this guidance, Akron is already facing criticism over one of its giveaways. Because we have people genuinely very upset. The city is passing out $5 million in bonuses to 1,600 mostly unionized city workers. 60 of those employees make over $100,000. 300 of them make over $80,000. That's double the median household income of Akron residents. On the list are hundreds of police and firefighters getting $3,000 bonuses this year and 2,000 more in January. The list also includes an unknown number of city employees allowed to work from home during the pandemic. I think it's insulting that my employees who work so hard were not included. And then there's the 40 workers inside the Akron Municipal Clerk of Court's office who process arrest warrants and bonds 24 hours a day, seven days a week. While other city workers toiled from their recliner, deputy clerks had to show up. Neither a pandemic nor last summer's unrest following the Jalen Walker shooting was reason to close. If the police are in the building, we are in the building. That's one of the reasons that I, I would feel that they should have been entitled to it. No, I appreciate your careful consideration. Earlier this year, Akron City Council voted to hand Mayor Dan Horrigan control of the ARPA purse strings. But as he's apt to do, the camera shy mayor declined to answer our questions. Instead, a spokeswoman responded via email, saying clerk of courts workers are at-will employees not eligible under the interpretation of the ARPA guidelines. But that doesn't explain several examples we found of non-union employees making over $150,000 being given $3,000 bonuses. That includes embattled police chief Steve Milette and Clarence Tucker, the former fire chief and now a Horgan cabinet member. Government does not do an effective job of kind of picking winners and losers, and unfortunately sometimes we know that people who benefit from government largesse uh, get the most money from government. Ray Hederman is with the government watchdog Buckeye Institute. The group agrees with many economists who blame today's high inflation on the surge of federal spending. He sees one-time spending on workers and consultants placed ahead of infrastructure like roads or bridges or even health care as a failure of government. So at the end of the day, there's no free money the federal government is using that's being used to pay out these bonuses. Instead, these are tax dollars being reallocated by the federal government. And it's important for voters to know how this money is being wisely spent. Akron's ARPA spending includes $5 million for vision plans at Lock 3 Park downtown and Summit Lake, plus millions more for housing, parks, and violence prevention. We have the entire budget for Akron and other cities on our website, WKYC.com. Marissa Signs, 3 News.